All right, so I've been um, I've been thinking quite a lot about this, and what does it actually mean to be a prisoner of God? Um, it says in Ephesians, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called. So what does Paul mean here? What does he mean to be the prisoner of God, the prisoner of the Lord? He goes on to say in chapter 6 that, Bond servants, be obedient to those who are your masters, according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart as to Christ, not with eye service as men pleases, but as bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men. So, if I'm the prisoner of God, does that mean I'm putting God's will first in my life? Am I doing what God would want me to do as opposed to what everyone around me wants me to do? It's really interesting because it goes on to say after um, it talks about the armor um, and what the different parts of the armor of God are. Um, in chapter 6 verse 18 it says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me that utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. So here Paul is asking for prayer for himself. For what reason? So that he can speak boldly so that he can be the ambassador, an ambassador for God. Are we bond servants of God? Are we God's prisoners? If you're not putting God first in your life, then you probably aren't. And I can say for myself, a lot of the times in my life, I haven't been a prisoner for God. It's really hard, um, but it's also really freeing. As soon as I start to put God first in my life, then I notice that everything else starts to sort of just fall in place. Um, so I urge you that if you're not putting God first in your life and you might be talking to a friend or you might be um, in your workplace or whatever it may be that you may be doing, um, and you hear God's voice talking to you and telling you to share God with someone, then remember that we have a duty to God first, and then we have a duty to other people. Um, and if we please God, then we will automatically please everyone else. So yeah, be blessed.